Oh, hi, I'm the Thinium Snow, and I'm wearing a crown to hide my receding hairline. Wow, wow. Why am I five years old? Hold up. So today I'm going to be fixing this right here, this thing that I have in my hands. It's a wig. It's a, it's a minty, green, bluish wig. And I like it a little, a little bit so much. Anywho, I'm gonna fix this. By the way, if I have a lisp this entire video, you're welcome. I'm wearing my retainer. Oh, don't do that. That's a Julia Roberts thing that everyone hates. And I'm so sorry about it. I'm gonna tie my hair up real quick, so you know, as to get it out of the way, get ready for some wig action on top of my head. So when I put on a wig now, I, I am gonna have that egg thing in the back, and I, I really do not care. You're welcome. Yes, fine. Just deal with it. Anywho, let's let's just turn into an egg. Oh, that's that's great. Mm. Hello, it is me, King of the Egg People. I need to stop being a six-year-old and get on with it. This wig is kind of a little bit of a disaster. Just a little bit of a small catastrophe, as you can see. Honestly, I am not entirely sure what happened to it. It's been sitting in my cupboard right back there for the past few months-ish. I, I really don't know what happened. Um, I, I didn't do anything to this. I really sincerely don't know what happened to this wig. But I'm going to fix it right here for all of you to see today. In a world. Don't know what was coming with that. Let's just get started. I'm, I'm gonna start by brushing it from the bottom up. Cause y'all like to complain whenever I do wigs and shit about me not brushing from the bottom up. I do. Trust me. You just don't see it because it cut out about four hours of footage. So it's, it's like you know you don't see all of that. So don't try to be as smart as. I know what I'm doing. It is really early in the morning, fun fact. I woke up early to film a video today. So, um, you're welcome. Hashtag dedication, hashtag the grind. I love making people cringe with the sounds of brushes. Like, hello, it is me, the anti-ASMR channel. Lithuanian snowmobile battery. It's quite funny, I, I have a strange obsession with seeing if there's any gossip about me. Spoiler alert, there, there never is. I, I don't really do shit. I don't really tend to go outside, so... I like to see if there is. So I Google myself. All that really comes up is my famous birthdays and my social media and all of the Pinterest shit. I'm on Pinterest a lot. I, I have never used Pinterest because you know how when you open an image through Google Images on Pinterest, it's like open web page, you know, because you just want to view the image. It gives you a, eh, you need to log in. And out of complete spite, I, I refuse to make an account. Sue me. I don't have the energy. I don't want to do it. I'm so sorry about it. No, I'm really not. Oh, this is so much easier than that first purple wig. I don't know how that first purple wig got so bad. Also, this is a lot nicer than the black one. Like, the quality of the wig itself is a lot nicer, so... So hopefully it'll turn out even nicer than the last one as well. You know, what is going on here? What kind of fuckery is this? What kind of fuckery are we? Nowadays you don't mean dick to me My leg trying me Dear mother of god, what are these waves? Are those waves? Those are just kinks in the hair I don't usually have any kinks Motherfucker, there's this one tangle that just won't come out and I'm really getting annoyed by it Right, so now I got everything detangled, so that's great well, not entirely detangled, but I, I did my best. I'm gonna turn on my straighteners and get ready for the next step. Let's just start straightening this hair. Get it all nice and smooth. Smooth like butter. Like from home country. Home country is the Netherlands. I, I still live here. Why do I look like off-brand Kesha right now? Maybe because I am off-brand Kesha. I heard you somewhere praying. Praying. I hope your soul is changing. Changing. Mm, that tangle wasn't gone. My brushes now though. Great. By the way, this wig is from Powder MD. Use code SNOW10 for 10% off. I got you. No, you really don't have to, but it helps me out if you, if you wanna. 
Oh my god, I went to an Emma Blackery meet and greet and concert a few days back, last week ish. And, um, oh boy, was I awkward. Oh, oh dear lord. So, right, you, you see this? This is my VIP ticket. Great, cute. Well, it, it's not my VIP ticket, it is just a laminate bed. You get what I mean. So pretty much when I came to see her, in my head, I already knew my phone was gonna be dead. So like, I took my DSLR camera because I, I wanted to take a picture. When I arrive, come to realize that I have completely forgotten my SD card. Great, didn't get a picture. Also, I might or might not have told her that I needed to pee, which is obviously a great way to introduce yourself. Um, she, she recognized me from Twitter, so that's clearly the best way to, you know, open a conversation. Tell someone that you need to pee. Great. Wonderful. A while back, I had a small little conversation with her on Twitter about laser tattoo removal. She jokingly said, you can hold my hand while I am in pain getting my tattoos removed. So, how I, uh, what I said in real life, because I was completely stuttering as I do because I'm a very nervous person and I'm socially completely awkward. Like, it's not a cute awkward. And it's it's not like that cute. Oh my god, look at me, I'm so quirky, I'm so nervous, and I'm so shy. Oh my god, hashtag relatable, hashtag rela- ow. Hashtag relatable. <laughs> no, 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 none of that. Um, I am genuinely like a very, very, very nervous person when it comes to stuff like that. Especially stuff like that. And so pretty much I, I s completely stuttered and I said if you still need someone to hold your hand while you're in pain screaming period that, That's where I ended my sentence. Well, it wasn't where I ended my sentence, but in conversation It was where I ended my sentence. So it was like in my head. It was like Fuck fuck. However, I did manage to follow it up with when you get your tattoo removed Except it, it was just a bit late and was just, just I felt very awkward all right, great. So now it's entirely straight. Unlike me. Haha, <laughs> get it? Cuz I like man. Right, so with this wig, I, I'm not really planning on doing anything like super out there, like not really overly braided or anything. I don't really think I'm gonna do any braids in this. Maybe if I feel like I do a little fishtail moment somewhere, but I, I am not sure yet. We'll see. First though, I'm gonna curl it. I'm gonna do some real cute beachy wave curly things. You know, the whole shebang, the cute little Hollywood curl things, whatever you wanna call them. And for that, as always, I got toilet paper rolls. So first off, as always, I'm gonna start off by heating my hair up with straighteners. Then I'm gonna wrap it around this toilet roll and pin that right up there. And I am just gonna be doing that to the rest of the hair as well. So on this side, I'm gonna curl everything that way. And on this side, I'm gonna be curling everything that way. So we get that little ab effect going on. You know what I mean. The, uh, I have a center part and from there, everything goes smoothly outwards. I'm like a butterfly. Really shitty butterfly, but, but hey, that's life. Am I right? I have been trying to do a little bit more ambitious photography things, which I have posted both on Instagram and Twitter, which you should probably follow me on, by the way. Here's my Instagram, here's my Twitter. Speaking of Instagram, you see that number right up there? That's my follower count on Instagram. It's going pretty, that, that's a lot of damn people, like a lot. And I, I don't really know how to deal with that. However, I guess one of my goals is to maybe someday, you know, surpass Instagram with YouTube because, um, I don't know, I, I enjoy talking and like sharing my life and all that type of stuff and doing dumb shit on camera a lot more than just posting pictures, if that makes any sense. So like to all of you that are here over on my YouTube, um, I, I appreciate you a lot. Uh, my birthday is this month and I don't really want it to be my birthday, not because I care about getting older, but like, I uh, can't be arsed with any of it, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I have this kitchen roll. <laughs> That's totally not extra at all. Totally necessary. Need that. Oh great, love that. 
<laughs> Anywho, I'm, I'm gonna let this cool down for a bit and then move on to the rest of the hair so that I have all my toilet rolls that I need. So I'm gonna take the first one out. This one right up here. Hopefully it's cute. And if it ain't, well... Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Right, that's perfect. That's exactly what I'm going for. So while we do the rest, let's just take all of these cute waves and put those inside of here in it. Cool! Got that done. Let, let, let's take this off. Took out all of the curl roll things. And there we go. We have some ethereal Hollywood-esque. I look like Hilary Duff. Now for some contrast, I have these extensions, which are obviously a different color. They're a bit more greenish, and I am gonna clip those in. But first I'm gonna curl them. These I can actually curl with a curling iron because they are human hair. So that's great. So I got these all nice and curled and wavy and pretty and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna be clipping these in and I'm gonna start off with this one. I'm gonna clip that right up here, I think. Yes, yes, very good. So you can see that slight bit of color difference for some added effect, you know what I mean? You know what I'm shming? Then this one I'm gonna put right here. These I am gonna clip in down here, I think. Just like this. I lied about the no braid thing. I want to do a braid. Fuck it. So what I'm gonna do is take a section from down here. This I'm gonna take and I'm gonna be braiding that. Just a regular, regular old braid. Then I'm going to be slightly pulling on the sides a little bit to make it a little bit more, you know, give it a bit of a romantic feel, whatever you want to call it, but just like that. Then I'm going to be taking that braid and wrapping that over here. And then at the other side, I am, I think I'm just going to tuck it in underneath the wig. Then I have a quick little fishtail braid that I made right here with some more extension. I'm gonna be putting that right under here. Give it that extra flair, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna be taking a concealer in my skin color and I'm gonna be taking a small, tiny little brush. This is the Winged Liner Brush by Sigma E06. And I'm gonna be putting that right down parting to make it look more like skin in between the parting, you know what I mean? So then there's the final wig. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments down below. So there you go. That was the video. I added a few tiny little flowers, which aren't really important, but um, I, I thought I would. Maybe you thought it would be a nice touch. You know what I mean? Anywho, um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, like the video, and if you like me, maybe consider subscribing. I see you, 66% of people that watch my videos that aren't subscribed yet. Maybe join the family. Maybe. Anywho, goodbye. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, oh hi, Frida.